right, we're gonna close the lid and we are gonna scan this carrier and it's actually a, a very simple process to scan it. Uh, let me go through a few things on the software first before we hit start. So right now, because this is a 465i carrier, we are going to do a full scan in radius, which goes from zero millimeters, which is the center, to 232.5 millimeters, which is the outer edge. And we're gonna do one millimeter steps here. That's kind of a typical step size, which gives you a very high resolution over this full carrier. Again, the full scan, will take about 10 minutes. So we're about 80 millimeters into this scan and you can see clearly now the wafer pockets both in the specular plot and the diffuse plot. If you look closely you can see these white specks along the, the pocket edges. Those are actually the, the pocket clips. It shows you that the specular signal is very sensitive to any surface uh, changes or deformities or scratches uh, if you look closely, I can also see it looks like machining rings in these pockets that the specular signal picks up. The diffuse signal um, is not as sensitive to those surface defects or surface qualities. However, the diffuse signal is really the main contributor to the total em emissivity calculation. So, if you look at the live signal input, and right now I'm plotting the specular signal, you can clearly see pocket web, pocket web signal as we start to pick up the second ring of pockets. And you'll see a similar pattern if you go to the diffuse signal as well, although the intensities are of course different. And again, it's this signal that then we process into all the angular and radial components to allow us to generate the full plot of both specular and diffuse reflectors. So I'd like to show you the the data file from that scan. So we're going to pull it up here. And again, here's the diffuse reflectance. And you can see they look quite different. And actually, this diffuse reflectance shows very clearly that there's a very strong difference in reflectivity between the pockets and the webs or the rest of the carriers. And that's going to lead to an emissivity variation that's very significant. So now I'm going to pull up the total emissivity of this carrier and now you can see the emissivity is basically one minus the total reflectance and you can see now that the emissivity of the pockets is much lower on the order of say 0 0.88, 0 0.89 compared to the emissivity of the web which is up around 0 0.94, 0 0.95. What that means is there's going to be a temperature gradient going from pocket to web across this carrier when the carrier is heated up and being used for deposition. And generally speaking, that's not a good thing to have because that's going to result in temperature non-uniformity across the wafer. Now that the scan is complete, it's a very simple process to unload the carrier. So I'm going to lift up the lid and we're going to push the button that says platter home or carrier home. And you can see that the tool immediately starts to ramp down its rotation rate. Okay, now that it's stopped, we can unlock this, slide it out, and we're done.